see now the host of all former Santa Barbara businessman Eva Lanford has won a stunning victory in the Santa Barbara. It's a landslide defeat for the former governor. As you can see, it's a happy group of supporters here for the victory celebration. Sorry, where's Rob? Where's Rob? Where's the goddamn camera? With the kids. What about election night in space? We got a show to do. What's this? What's this? Uh, that is the Gazunda Lady. That's not true. Let me Alice, see. Let me please. see. Do you ever think Frank. about death? Death? Don't look through there. Now, easy, Frank. Don't, don't touch the lens, because... I mean, what happens when you die? Uh, you big mosquitoes come out of your ears. OK, Frank, look, I'll hold it up, and you have a look through. You go to heaven in a plane, and you lie around in the clouds. And God takes care of you. What you your see? friends are there. There's no grown-up. Hey. Where the hell have you been? Don't you want to be like the other news teams? We've got a story to cover. Look, this is not a toy. We can't be like them. They're covering the election. We're covering the buffet. Can Figley already has conceded. The new governor's on his way down, and you take the goddamn camera. The kids wanted to see how the camera works. Well, what do you think's more important? I mean, this segment or teaching some kids how to use a mini can? Don't make me answer that. You're going to get Langford to taste the food. The guy's been elected governor for eight minutes. Then he makes some policy announcements, lowers some taxes, house some elderly. <laughs> We will increase the jobs, we will multiply productivity, we will unify the people, and God willing, we're going to house the elderly in a matter should have done a segment on the kids. A, a lot more interesting than election buffets. God, which end of the animal did this come out of? Thank you. Mm. OK, what's the angle? America, hey, we're doing a segment on election night food. <laughs> oh, I just didn't serve this crap to config the air. Or... <laughs> Would you say that in the air? Don't be an idiot. All the stuff's grown in this state. <laughs> OK, I get the angle. Let's go. Okay. Rolling. Rolling? I'm supposed to say that. Who cares? Um, I'm standing here with Governor-elect Lanford. Uh, what do you think of your election night book phase spread, Governor Lanford? Thank you very much for asking me that, Rob. I'm always delighted to taste California wine. <laughs> Just a little, of course. <laughs> oh, God, we beat him four to one in Orange County. Four to one. That's oh, great. Oh, what great. It's wonderful. <laughs> you ever told to his kids? Not really. God, they're amazing. They've all figured out what happens when you die. You go to heaven in a plane. You know what really won it for us? It was the Gurney Organization in Sacramento, Bishop in Orange County, and Wasserstein in L.A. Oh, you're really wound up, aren't oh, you? Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, I go to sleep except there's too much adrenaline pumping. I know something to calm me down. What? No, no, not here. Here, no, no. Yes. The, the driver, he'll see us. He no, can't see no. anything. No, he'll see us. Excuse me, uh, what is your name? Finn, sir. Finn, uh, can you see anything when the window's up? No, sir. Good, thank you. Excuse us, will you? No, no. Oh, yes. No, no. Yes. No. Yes. no. You got it. I'm off. Rob, you know, I know you're not going to like this, but, um, Governor, you see, uh, he is really grateful to me for everything I've done for him on his campaign. And, uh, well, it's really a prestigious appointment. <sighs> Rob, the governor wants to, to, to appoint me to the Superior Court. Gesunde. Now, Now, I know this means postponing our family for just a little while longer. Postponed? He said, as soon as the election is over. But I had no idea he'd win. There's only two things you can do in an election, and one of them is win. I mean, what do you think I've been waiting for? But this is the Superior Court. Oh, Mickey, I don't care if it's the Supreme Court. We've been postponing this for seven years now. I mean, you said when we got married. Dad, we have kids sometime in the murky future. But this is the murky future. Jesus, seven years, Mickey. Oh, look, it's not as if we haven't tried. Don't forget the miscarriage. Oh, how can I forget the miscarriage? Look, be a judge later. The governor has to appoint somebody now. I can't be a mother and a judge at the same time. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the baby. Look, if you become a judge, then there won't be any baby to not be fair to. Oh, I know you want a big family, Rob. No, I'm not talking big anymore. I'm not talking big. I'm talking one. 
Oh, look, it's very easy for the man to want to have a baby, but it's a woman that has to take care of it. But I told you, I take care of it, and I'll take care of you, too. I'll knit, I'll clean, oh, scrub. Oh, could we discuss this some other time, please? I have a couple months sleep to catch up on. No, I, I, I want to settle it now. Uh, this is the end for me, Mickey. Hello. I'm not here, Leo. No, Leo. No! No! Why? Because I'm in the middle of an argument. I got a hot one for you, Rob. The Cambodian string quartet is playing the Pasadena Civic tomorrow night, and one of them has to be replaced by an American. A woman. And they're rehearsing this afternoon. Get somebody else. Uh, it's, uh, it's Hap's piece, Rob. You know he doesn't make a move without you. Leo, Hap's an idiot. We hate each other. He doesn't hate me. This is the first day I've had with my wife since the 4th of July. I will give you tomorrow night off. You already gave me tomorrow night off. This time I will keep my word. You won't have to do the piece in artificial dog organs. Huh. Can you have dinner tomorrow night? I cook, you bring the wine? Okay. No, I'm absolutely positively. I mean, no breaking the date for any reason, including nuclear incidents. No breaking the date. Okay. All right, Leo. Okay? Uh, Romance of journalism. The uh, Cambodian string quartet. Uh, oh. oh, God. You're beautiful. You're sweet. You have such a capacity for giving. You'd, you'd be such a good mother. Good night. Now, come on, Mickey. Just one child. A small one. <laughs> Wonderful. That was the Cambodian string quartet, uh, minus their cellist. And this is Maud Guillory, who replaced him at the very last moment. Uh, why did they choose you, Miss Guillory? Well, um, I played with the Kissing Me Symphony for two years, and I know the music. Is there a language problem? No, uh, I can't understand a thing they say. They can't understand a thing I say. No problem. They just point, and I start playing. Um... You know, you have wonderful eyes. Uh, cut, oh, cut. You never really see them in television. What do you... Thank you. Thank you. What do you cut for? Well, use that. Well, who cares? What difference does it make? Roll them. All right. Roll. We're rolling. I know. What happened to the original cellist? Oh, he got some kind of sick and had to go back. Oh, well, that's a shame, but I suppose a, a break for you, right? What, that he got sick? No, he was a very gentle man. I'm not that kind of person. No, I didn't mean uh, you were right, being... Look, uh, she's ruining the whole, you know... Am I doing something wrong? No, Miss Guillory, no, you're, you're fine, really, just fine. So how come the camera's only pointed at me? Uh, cut, when did cut. They shoot you? Keep rolling. Um, after we've finished, uh, we don't even have to have you here. Oh, without me, right. So you can look wise and condescending the way you guys always do? No, no. I won't look wise and condescending, honestly. That's why who's ever being interviewed always comes off looking dumb, right? I promise I won't make you look dumb. Well, I want to see you do it. <laughs> uh, cut, uh, cut. Look, uh, uh, Miss Gilbert, this man is not an actor. Uh, what am I, Hap? An important... A uh, broadcast journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hap. Really nice report. Um, I'll do it for you, Miss Gilly, no problem. Okay. Just one more question. Roll them. Look, I am supposed to say that. Roll them. We've made them up. Uh, are there any tickets left? Uh, well, let's see. The Pasadena Civic has 2,800 seats. I'd say there are about 2,750 tickets left. Better hurry. Great. Cut. Cut. Now I get to see you? Uh-huh. Okay. Camera on me. Okay. Okay, Roland. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hap. Um... Why did they choose you, Miss Guillory? Uh, what happened to the original... What happened to the original cellist? 
Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wonderful eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is there a language problem? <laughs> Great. And so, while this concert may not lead to uh, detente, uh, a little musical harmony may lead to a little political harmony. This is Rob Salinger, America Hey, at the Pasadena Civic. Cut. OK, thanks. Here, let's wrap it up. Miss Guillory, terrific. Come on, guys. Rob, let's go. We got to still have the herpes clinic to do. Thank you. That was real nice of you. That's a pleasure. Here's a ticket for the concert tomorrow night, if you'd like to come. Oh, thanks. But I've got a date with my wife tomorrow. I can't break that. Date with your wife? How romantic. Yeah, well, I hope so. but. Thanks anyway. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And good luck with the concert. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Chop it out. Oh, thanks a lot. Could you get my father for me, please, and hold all calls until I'm through, okay? Sure. Hi, Daddy. Lambert just offered me a seat on the Superior Court. Honey, that's marvelous. Marvelous. I knew he'd do something after all you did for him. Here, I'll get your mother. Okay, thank you. I'll hold. Thanks. Hi. I've heard about your appointment, Mickey. It's very <laughs> gratifying. When will you take office? Oh, well, if all goes well, I should be dispensing justice pretty even-handedly about February. Uh, Rob must be thrilled. Yes, he is. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I hope you won't mind if we work you a little harder in the meantime. We want to get our money's worth before you go. I understand. So I understand, Mr. Cushing. Hello, darling. Hi, Mom. Your father just told me. It's wonderful. How's Rob taking it? Oh, fine. He loves it. He's thrilled. Hello. Rob. Hi, Mickey. Look, uh, I have terrible news. The the old man, he told me I have to go to Cincinnati. Now, very core is due in court tomorrow, and my brief is only half done. Mickey, tell him you can't. You just can't. You know I can't do that. Oh. Mickey, you're worse than Leo. I mean, first save the multinationals so he can take over another small African country, then think about our family's future. Rob, please try to understand. Uh, just, just ho hold on one second, darling, please. Yes. Uh, uh, tell him I'll call him right back. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Rob. Did you get the line that I, I sent you? Hmm. Yeah, your secretary's got great taste. Rob, uh, I, I have to go. Well, oh, sure. Yeah, of course you do. I mean, go, go. Rob, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll call you the moment I get in, okay? Yeah. You're wonderful. Oh, God, I don't know. You know, in the third movement, when Pop Pop wanted a change of tempo, I panicked. Oh, no, it was, it was wonderful, beautiful playing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So what happened to the date with your wife? Oh, it uh, got called off. <laughs> well, listen, there's a party. If you'd like to join us. Oh, well, uh, thanks, but no, I ought to really be oh. heading back. Thank you. I understand, of course. No. I, ju I just thought, you know. Yeah. No, I. I... Sure. <laughs> I know. Sure. No. No, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> <clears throat>
most important influence in my life is my daddy. Hmm. He cares for me very deeply. <sighs> I would kill him if he knew what was about to happen. What's about to happen? He, he put me through Juilliard. And my dress is so black. He, he tries to pay for my apartment. Black is black. <laughs> Not always. Anyway, it goes really well with your shoes. With your shoes are black. Mm. But, you know, I have to be self-sufficient or I'd hate myself. <laughs> I often do hate myself. Don't you? No. Only when I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I really hate myself. You don't like America, hey? Do you know what we taped last week? What? Lingerie for animals. <laughs> Are plants seducible? And a five-minute profile. Einstein and his lady. All my life I've wanted to be in news, and this is where I am. <laughs> mm. News is just gossip for intellectuals. Oh, Daddy wants us for me to get married and have kids. <laughs> My wife used to be like that. I don't not want to do it. It's just I don't know if it's all I don't want to not do. Hmm? Oh, would he kill me if he knew what we did? What did we do? What did we do? <laughs> not, 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 not what we did. What we're about to do. <laughs> well, what are we about to do? Am I dressed right? I'm just very ticklish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where should I put this? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> Glass of water. No. Thank you.
something over my head. It feels like a tuning fork. I mean, I've never done this before, Leo. Really? Well, you know me. You were my best man. Have you ever seen me cheat on Mickey? I've ever seen you. You mean been right there in the room? Oh, come on, Leo. Well, I do. Well, are you going to see her again? No, of course not. That bad, huh? What, was she a TV groupie? A hooker? No, she was not a TV groupie or a hooker. She's a cellist. A very funny, pretty, interesting, intelligent, fabulous, vivacious cellist. Oh, yeah, well, you better not see her again. I hate deception. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi, it's uh, Rob Salinger. I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> yes, I remember you. Listen, Walter, I've done something terribly wrong. I... I think you're wonderful, really wonderful. But I... I love my wife. Really love her, you know? And, um... I think... We better not see each other again. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been thinking the same thing. I mean, I've, I've been feeling miserable all morning. I mean, I just... I just can't handle complicated situations. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Well, it's, uh, it's been great knowing you. Yeah. Well, bye. <laughs> bye. I'm, I'm, I'm no good at juggling people. I can't handle complications. I hate lying and deceit and tricking women. It's just out of the question. When can I see you again? I'm home. For the past 14 years, the Sitkowitz family, Ben and Valerie, have had a backyard to go with their house. Then, two days ago, their backyard slid down the hill into the street. They filed a million dollar lawsuit against the county. And here is the county geologist, Mr. Tally Inorato. Mr. Inorato, uh, what have you done in response to this suit? We drained all the underground water and shored up the hillside. So you would say this house is, is safe now? Oh, absolutely. This property is 100% stable. That's one. Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> God! Are you all right? Yeah. Hi, remember me, the person who shares your domicile? Oh, uh, yeah, brunette, right? Very funny, very funny. No, when am I going to see you? I haven't seen you in two weeks. We haven't made love in five. Oh, yes, we have, in the limo, election night. Ah, yes, yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, hold on, honey. Hold on. Yes? Mrs. Salinger, the governor would like to talk to you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him just a minute. Hi, hon, I gotta go. Listen, can I see you tomorrow? Sure. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, That's uh, that won't do. Um, um, I'll have to call you, okay? Oh, 
I feel happy and terrible at the same time. Guilt about your wife? No, that's the problem. I don't feel any guilt. I feel guilty about not feeling guilty. <laughs> God, isn't the sky incredible? Look at those stars, they're incredible. Do you know what else is really incredible? What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Can't tell. Are you happy or suicidal? I'm happy and suicidal. I mean, I, I'm married. Um, how about you? What do you feel? Well, I'm happy and suicidal too. I mean, I'm not married. Don't worry. It's all going to work out just fine. I you mean, you're not going to. Uh, I mean, you're going to have it, aren't you? Please don't cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Are you, Bob? Yeah. Oh, I love you. Oh. 
love you too. I've never been happier in my life. <laughs> You marry me. What about your wife? I'll get a divorce. <laughs> Are you nervous? I mean, he is your father. Don't you think he's going to wonder why we're getting married so fast? I just told him that we were crazy about each other. That he can understand. Pregnancy before marriage, he can't. <laughs> you know, Daddy was almost a priest. What? A priest? He studied as a Jesuit. Oh, boy, he's going to love me. Don't worry. Daddy gets along with everybody. <laughs> TV, you know, you got a very nice quality. Very vulnerable. Oh, thank you. Hello, Marge. John. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, John, the stars. Rob. Rob, Hi. hello. I'll get you champagne. Great. Hi, Marge. Oh, wild man. Jack Armstrong, this is Rob. Hi, how are you? Wild man. Hi, new trunks, eh? Yeah, hey, guys, come on down. I want you to be my new son in law. Yeah, very sure. Handsome. Yeah. I recognize you from the two. Ah, a pleasure. Oh, thank you. She's a saint. Well, she's not bad. Rob, this is Andre the Giant. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi, nice to see you. Jane LaBelle. Hi. Chief. Rob. 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 Oh. Come on, you guys, give me a hand. Hey. Hey. Here we go. I hear you uh, love my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much. I want to marry her. I think that's wonderful. She means a lot to me and to her mother, God rest her soul. Where do you plan to live? Well, uh, my place is... It's much too small like mine. We were thinking of getting a house in the hills. Great. I'll buy it for you. Oh, oh dang. No, that's too generous. Rob, I mean... listen. Maud's only going to get married once. I mean, why does a man wrestle for 30 years? What does he kill himself for? Calculating T-bills, IRAs, money market rates. It would make me feel, feel like a king to do this for you. Oh, well, I'm overwhelmed. God. But listen. I'll design the interior, too. You will? Oh, when Daddy retires, he's going to take up decorating oh. full time. Well, I don't know what to say, Mr. Guillory, really. Marcus, and if it'll make you feel any better, yeah. you can buy the furniture. OK. <laughs> Everybody, a toast to the bride and groom. All right. Yeah. If he knew she was pregnant, he'd kill her. And you, he would kill twice. Maybe we should get married in two weeks instead of three. I don't know, just to make sure. Where are you going to tell Mickey? Oh, God. Perino's. She loves sautéed brains. Perino's? That's a very expensive restaurant. Yeah, well, I read somewhere that if you want to break off with your wife, go to a very expensive public place where she won't throw a tantrum. Come on, Leo. Take her to Dodger Stadium. Save yourself $200, which you will soon be needing, by the way, to support a chalice and a baby. God, what would you do, Leo, if you had to choose between them? I hey, mean... I've known Mickey almost as long as you have, Rob. I love Mickey. Well, so do I, Leo. So do I. I mean, what am I supposed to say? Mickey, a decade is a long time to be intimate with another human being. A little but stiff, I'm... a little stiff, Rob. How about dear? Dear? What do you mean, dear? I, uh, I don't call her dear. She's a lawyer. Oh. I'm a counselor, I'm just not good enough for oh. you. Come on, Leo. Jesus. I, wait a minute. Uh, uh, sometimes in a relationship, um, sometimes in a relationship, things happen that neither party anticipates. Yep, you've got the punch. Now you need the pillow. What do you mean? 
You're gonna knock her out with this news. You need a pillow for her to land on. Yeah, I, I suppose. Mickey, I love you. I'll always love you. Yeah. Uh, these years with you, I've seen you blossom from a young girl into a mature woman. No, no, no. I mean, she was always a mature woman, even at 25. All right, you like, uh, Mickey, I love you, I'll always love you. You like that, right? Oh, well, Leo, it's all right, but it's Don't, not ex Mickey, I love you, I'll always love you. Yeah, and, and, I'm... And I've knocked up a girl, I'm going to marry her, and I want a divorce. Great, where's the pillow? We'd like to name the baby after you. Oh, Leo, well, come well, on. I don't know. I mean, what, the thing... Oh, right, just... Piss off, Hat, will you, for fine, crying out loud? Fine, fine, fine. The thing is, I, 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 I don't want to divorce Mickey. I just want to marry Maud. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. I mean, I've been with her for ten years. I can't just give up ten years like that. And it's eat your cake and have it, too. What? To have your cake and eat it, anybody can do. To eat it and still have it left, that's the trick. Eat your cake, have your cake. Who cares? You're about to get a plate of sautéed brains thrown in your face. Your entire life is in the toilet, and you're correcting my grammar? Wonderful idea. <laughs> Does this have something to do about the show, something big? Well, bigger. Oh, I've got something pretty big to tell you, too. <laughs> but you, you, you tell me your surprise first. Okay. Mickey, I love you. <laughs> I, I'll always love you. Oh, I love you, too, Robin. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm so pregnant, the doctor thinks I'm gonna have twins. <laughs> Isn't it great? I don't know, I wanna have it too. I, I just, I just feel liberated. <laughs> so, you know, when the doctor first told me I was pregnant, I said, well, I'll have to have an abortion. You know me, <laughs> nothing's gonna stand between me and my judgeship, so. But yesterday, I, I went to the clinic and, and, I said, what am I doing? I, 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 I just couldn't do it, so I acted like a judge. I said, I, I weighed, I weighed uh, you and me and us and, and our relationship and, and our future, and I weighed that against the state superior court, and you want to know what? <laughs> you won. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? I I learned in 24 miraculous hours that you're you're the greatest thing on earth. I'm crazy about you and and well this this baby it, it sort of signifies our our belief in in a future of you and me and oh I don't know it's some sort of little memento that uh, that sort of says that that our union is good. Isn't that corny? <laughs> But it's true. There is one little complication, though. Um, the doctor says, oh, he says I have a uterus that's a little bit irritable. <laughs> Funny, it's always been perfectly agreeable with me. <laughs> laugh, laugh. But um, I have to stay in bed for the next seven and a half months, you know, sort of like uh, Sophia Loren. <laughs> kind of glamorous. <laughs> I have to give up the firm, but I don't care. I really don't. I love you. And I'm so glad I got married to you. <laughs> what a stupid idea. Now you tell me you're a little surprised. <laughs> We're having sauteed brains for dinner. Oh, you're kidding. Oh. <laughs> okay.
trouble, Leo. Major trouble. My God, you look like somebody took out all your blood and replaced it with milk. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, this is a high-risk birth. It's perfectly safe, but it does mean a cesarean. Oh, I was so looking forward to a, a natural childbirth. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Just remember to cut out all physical activity until we have a strong, healthy fetus. Now, uh, your due date is the 14th of August. I hope you won't get too stir-crazy. I won't. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to read every Russian novel that's ever been written, and um, my husband said he'd take good care of me, so I, I think it's going to be wonderful. Let's see, you're due... September 2nd. September 2nd. We have excellent natural childbirth training at the hospital. Good. My husband and I both want to take classes. My future husband. <laughs> When's your wedding? A week from Saturday. Congratulations. That's well, are you going to tell them? Of course I'm going to tell them, but I can't tell Mickey for months. The shock would be so great she might lose the baby. Then you have to tell Maud. I can't tell Maud. Why not? I had to break her heart. She was so happy when I told her I'd got the divorce. Where did you say you went? Tijuana. Uh -huh. Well, if you're really worried about breaking her heart, I wonder how she's going to feel when her father kills you. How does it end? It was wonderful. She throws herself under a train. Mm. <laughs> well, I think I might take a little walk or something. Just a bit, and maybe drop in on Leo. Okay? Okay. Have a good cry. Where have you been? We're a half an hour late. I know. Brody, who was my best man once before. Hello. Once before? I mean, once, when Mickey and I were married, of course. Well, what are you doing here, Rob? Going to a wedding, of course. Covering a wedding. Where's the camera? Uh, it's inside the, in, the crew. inside the church with the crew. Yeah, isn't there supposed to be some trucks or something, or wires? No, it's a, it's a satellite feed. From inside the church? Yeah. Right through the steeple? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody famous? No. No. Well, then why are you covering it, dear? Because, uh, well, actually, it's somebody quite famous, very famous, actually, very private, you know, Ooh. so. Oh. Oh. I, 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 oh, it's a gangster. Uh, Barker's Big Bacon Gallery. I don't know if you've, no. Uh, it's a big story, big but quiet, quite big. So, anyway, we better, we better go in. And you're in the wedding party. 
What makes you say that? <laughs> you must be. Uh, only the wedding party is allowed to wear morning suits. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you all right? Yes, it's just, it's been a long, <laughs> long night for this. He's working his tail off. Yes, Leo, Leo is the best man, and I'm the ring bearer. I've so. never seen a big gangster's wedding. Rob, do you think they'd mind if we just stood in the back? No, God, no! No, yeah, no, no, I, because uh, there are bodyguards and everything, and uh, they you have to be fingerprinted just to get in there. <laughs> Come on, it's, Rob, let's we go. Better, we, 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 we don't better. want Gallery's bacon to get all farted yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you. I just ate a raw liver sandwich. God. Where'd you get that suit? The suit? Hmm. Um, oh. In fact, where do you get most of your clothes? <laughs> I mean, you've got two jackets and a pair of pants in the closet, and yet every day a new outfit. <laughs> where do you keep a whole wardrobe? Uh, the studio? The studio, yeah. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise... Oh, I've got something for you. What? A present. A present? Oh. This is to help celebrate the midway mark of our second trimester. The midway mark <laughs> of our second trimester? Oh, why did you do this? This is great. Oh, Maud. Oh, this is really nice. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Oh, Good. it's beautiful. Well, mm. you know, wives are supposed to give presents. No. So are husbands. No, no. No, husbands aren't supposed to give presents. There's a oh. little message inside. There is? Well, I didn't see it. Where? Inside the sweater. Where? Oh! I heart you. What does that mean? I heart you. I love you, you jerk. I like oh, you. I love you. Oh, well, that's what that means. I could never understand what that meant. I heart New York. Burbank is for hearters. Now I know what it means. It's free. Get to work. Mm, that's great. Nobody ever gives me <laughs> presents. Oh, <stop. laughs> Give me this present. Right. Where's it for? It's for you. Oh, I get that open. Oh. <laughs> Summer. The Philharmonic. Oh That's great. God. What am I gonna What am I gonna play? Uh, Elgar. Elgar. No, no, no. Richard. Well, why don't you play oh, the oh, floor drug? You always play that no, so no, well. No, 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 no. Oh, that's great. Anyway, I've got to go to work. What do you want for dinner? Anything, so long as it's not food. Okay. Yeah. That's great, Maud. Really. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> How was the show? Oh, television history yet again. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we did a piece today called The Return of the Panty Girdle. I can't believe that show. <laughs> Where'd you get the sweater? Just this? Yeah. Uh, um, God, um, Carol's. But it's green. You look <laughs> flaky in green. Nobody looks good in green. Oh, I'd rather like. What are you reading? Oh, 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 this is the Iglesias method. Do you know about it? No. Well, you see, the husband not only gets to deliver the baby's head, but he gets to cut the umbilical cord and wash all the blood off. See? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot about your little squeamish tummy. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I'm no, sorry. no, no. I forgot about your little squeamish tummy. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind, but I suppose you Americans don't understand the English yeah. language. Oh, you want to see the nursery? I drew it. It's going to be so pretty. Nursery? Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's great, but... I like it's it. It's a rush. You've got four months. Oh, but I need a little project. Well, you've got a little plucky. <laughs> Next time, let's have another little project. Oh, okay. I'll show you my little project. No, no. <laughs> no? Oh. Please, I, I have to share you my little book. <laughs> well, I put in ten hours a day with Mickey, ten with Maud, two for the show and two for transportation. When do you sleep? Oh, I never stop sleeping. Maud thinks that my shift begins here at 5.30 a.m. Mickey thinks that's when it ends, so... Maud insists we get to sleep at 8 so we can get up at 4. Mickey stays up till 6 so we can sleep till 2. I mean, I'm getting... I'm getting... Too much sleep altogether. Anyway, if I can keep from getting bed sores and the San Diego freeway doesn't collapse, th this is this is going to work. Maybe you should hire a limo. Limo? God, Leo, I haven't got enough money for a pair of socks. Mickey's got no income. Maud earns about $100 a year. The food loan's costing me a fortune. I've never seen so much peanut butter in my life. I owe 56000 on some overpriced furniture. And now Mickey wants to build Disneyland in her study. If you think I should take limos, why don't you get me a job on network news? I phone them. They just never phone back. I'm giving you the easiest assignments I can. Yeah, I know. I know. You're being a real friend. Believe me, I, I, I don't... I May don't I ask you it. a question? Well, nothing cosmic, Leo. You have two wives. You're about to have two kids. Don't you see something wrong in that? Yeah, I do. It shouldn't be against the law. Rob. I know. Leo, I love Mickey. I love more. They want the children. I want the children. We're all getting what we want. What is this, 1967? You don't think about the consequences? What happens when they find out? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I only know that this is right. I and mean, it, it, it'll work out. It can't. It's impossible. No, no, Leo, you're wrong. You're really wrong. I love them. Don't you get it? Mickey, what, yes, Mickey, 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 you should be in bed. Oh, darling, it's okay. Listen, this is Mr. Simpson, the decorator. Oh, hi, hi, my husband. I see. Really, you should be uh, back in oh, bed. Oh, darling, I'm taking it easy. Don't yeah. worry about it, really. What do you think of pink? For what? The nursery. Yeah, that's that's fine. I thought that's what we... Could I just make a on? compromise suggestion? How about a soft, almost not there mauve? <laughs> well, I, I, I've always... Uh, I've... I really don't like mauve. I, we, we've well, sort what's of, wrong with mauve? Nothing's wrong with it, but I think we've really got our hearts set on pink. Pink, yes, pink. You know, See, your baby. I want it pink. It is, pink. fine, right there. I've right. Right. pink all my Where do you want the books? Oh, Would you like oh, the books uh, in the office should, uh, or the no, library? No, under the bed. You can put them no, under the bed. No, we can't put the books under the bed. The oh, you're right. The There's a chair. Right. Could right. you the just put them downstairs, please? Okay. We'll take care of them. We have to come to a decision about the color first. Well, we have. It's pink. Pink. And fine. And you can ask me about the drapes now. Mr. Simpson, it's nice to meet you. Hello, how are you? Pink. Yes, could I please ask you? Would you like this fabric in a different color? So at the start of this fourth quarter, the Cougars lead by 12 points in what has proved to be a very physical contest. Lockwood dunks another shot, making it 90 to 76. 
Wow. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Having a baby. Oh. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a total failure. I, I mean, I, I'm irresponsible and I'm, I'm, I'm hopeless and, 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 and emotionally immature. I, mean, I can't raise a baby. Yes, you can. You can. You're going to be a wonderful mother. No. <laughs> no, no, it's criminal. I mean, I'm not fit to be a mother. God, forget about the Philharmonic. 300 cellists auditioning against me. Mm. Oh, Rob, let's just forget about the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what if baby Salinger has something wrong with him? Oh, Lord. They're going to have a normal, healthy child. And if we don't, we'll, um, adjust. Mm. We will. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And you weren't fired from your job, you quit. Uh, uh, Rob, what if the baby turns out to be manic depressive? What if it turns out to be the first successful female assassin? <laughs> oh, Mickey. What if it gets the fat gene? The fat gene? I don't want to be a mother. This is terrible. Uh, I, I don't deserve to be a mom. Of course, sure you do. You deserve to be a mother. I can't even have a normal pregnancy. Look at this. This is better than a normal pregnancy. The kid doesn't bounce around <laughs> like other kids. I mean, all that time just to sit and think. <laughs> and it'll be born physically and mentally healthy, and it won't have the fat gene. It won't have the fat gene? How do you know? Well, if it does, we'll put it on Weight Watchers the second we get back from the hospital. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> You're a nice guy. <laughs> You're a nice girl. <laughs> Why do you always wear this sweater? I hate this sweater. You do? Well, I don't know. I'm just attached to it. That's all. What's, what's all this you're doing? Hmm? It's, uh, this is a cardboard thing of my catalog. I'm going to do a thing on designers, clothes for pregnant women. <laughs> see, you see, they don't look like potato sacks. That's the advantage. That's great. That's nice. Yeah? Yeah. You like that one? Mm-hmm. And that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. <laughs> you want to 
invest in it? Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Every penny I have. <laughs> I'm so glad it's a sunny day. You know, yeah. it's not exactly a house in the hills, but the view is just great. Come on over here. I want you to see the nursery. It's just great. Yes, Fort Gross, Mr. Sun. Uh huh. Right here, 24th. Right. And it's a uh, model order number 1386L. And uh, I need uh, four sizes. And day after tomorrow, okay? All right. Bye bye. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Who's that? Chang Hee Sung in Seoul. Seoul? Yes, as in Korea. Oh. I've sold over 700 orders. I haven't even mailed any of my catalogs yet. Isn't that good? I thought you just wanted to read Russian novelists. Oh, I read the Russian novelists. This is much better. You see, I do it one hour a day, on the phone. I don't have to worry about a thing. I'm really taking it easy. Nothing to worry about. You do have a tendency to do things on your own. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I suppose you want to watch the baby? Yeah, I do. Okay. Hmm. I would be happy to exchange it. What color would you like? Oh, uh, a burgundy. Mm -hmm. And the size? Oh, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, a 38. Are you upset with me because I'm in the catalog business? No, God, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> well, are you upset with me about anything else? No. No, I've got a few things in my mind, but no, of course not. God. <laughs> well, I know how pregnancy can turn a man off. Hey, what do you mean? Well, I was going to give you this tomorrow, but... Oh, Mickey, that's terrific. Thanks. I had a lot of fun going out to get it. <laughs> you went out? You're not even supposed to get out of bed, Mickey. What about your health and the baby? It's okay. I just couldn't stand that color anymore. You mean you exchanged it? Uh-huh. And I found a little I heart you on the label, too. You know, the place where they put the heart instead of love? And, you know, Rob, they don't have a lot of high heart use on the clothes and carols, so I was wondering... Who, who put it there? Mickey. No, I, I, I know I have a, a swollen belly, and, and I'm not exactly trim. Uh, and I, I know I don't, I don't pay enough attention to you, Rob, and I really wouldn't blame you, but... Mickey, uh, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for the last six months. Is it bad? Yeah. Oh. Well, Rob, I have I have to warn you that I'm I'm not normally an emotional person. Nobody in my family is, but if you if you're in love with a, a beautiful girl who has a flat belly and looks great in a bikini, I'll just oh 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 what oh what oh, oh my God, it's happening! What what oh, is? Oh, oh. I, I, I'm in labor. I, I can feel the pace right no, here. You can't be. It's two oh. months away. Oh, Rob, I said no when I'm in labor. Oh oh oh. Why? Why, it's gone. Well, that's, that's false labor. Dr. Feibel told us, you know, that might happen. Oh. I guess I just got a little peed up. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, uh, are you? What? In love with a woman who's got a beautiful face and a flat stomach and wears a bikini and looks good? No. Oh, good. Well, then, who put the I heart you on the, on the label? Uh, I did. Oh? Yeah, that's my bad news. <laughs> huh? 
well, I, 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 I sometimes, sometimes I feel insecure, you know, and so uh, just as uh, to make myself feel better about myself, I, uh, I remind myself that even if no one else loves me, I love me, so I, <laughs> I put it on some of my clothing. Oh. Most of it, in fact, always have you know, little labels. Oh, Rob, no one else doesn't love you. I love you. Our little baby loves you. I know, I know. I, I, sometimes I just forget. a combination of Richard Strauss, Spring, and Junior here. Oh, God, don't let's ever call him Junior, OK? <laughs> <laughs> OK, active labor contraction begins. <laughs> don't let's ever call him Butch, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, no beautiful names, OK? Mm -hmm. Not Nicholas or Christopher or <laughs> Adam or Jonathan. Mm. Or Jennifer or Gwyneth mm -mm. or Cherish or Innocence. <laughs> <laughs> contraction and... And no politics, right? Mm -hmm. Not um, America, <laughs> or, or sorry, or God, or or peace and freedom, or light bulb. Oh, I don't know, light bulb challenges, kind of catchy, right? <laughs> just, huh. just short and to the point, right? Um, Joe, Gus, Eddie, uh, not Edward, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Sue, Pat, American bandstand names, right? right? Okay, transition, practice begin. <laughs> <laughs> you think you ever gonna play the cello again? I don't know. I'm sure gonna go to the audition, but you know, music isn't everything. I could just get into baby here. Do you think we could stand the drop in income? Well, from hundred dollars a year to zero. <laughs> Smart ass. Okay. So it's all settled. If it's a girl, it's Tallulah No Nuke Salinger. <laughs> There's the push. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's a boy, uh, Bartholomew, Zachary, Save the Whales, Chastity <laughs> Bell, Salinger. Uh, yes, I'll be out for the next hour, so uh, could you take all the messages? And if there's an emergency, call me at Dr. Fievel, okay? Thank you, bye. You ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How long are we going to have all these... Boxes here. Well, they go into the warehouse in about a week. Yeah. Uh, does a sonogram hurt? Only if it's a singing sonogram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a pregnant mother. <laughs> you're in the club again. You got one in the oven now. It's coming down the lane. What's, what is it? I forgot my keys. I left them in the car. Well, aren't you supposed to? Well, yes and no. Oh. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just here for the sonogram. Oh. What? Darling? 
Mrs. Salinger. Good afternoon. Do you want to get your husband? Rob. What's holding her up? She should have been here yesterday. Earlier you said if I had been active. Have you been active? Active? She's been more active than when she had a job. These things make me a little faint. I'm, I'm gonna step outside. Excuse me. Rob? No, I'll, I'll just be outside. Mm. How'd you know I was here? Oh, everything okay? Hi, huh? everything on schedule three weeks from tomorrow. Terrific. I, I just gotta check my appointment. Okay, I'll wait. Um... There's Verbeck. This is my husband, Rob Salinger. <laughs> Your husband? Remember your oath, Nurse Verbeck. <laughs> Nurses don't take oaths, Mr. Salinger. Right. Is Tuesday okay? Three o'clock. So you going home? No, I've gotta go to work. It really was thoughtful of you to come. So what time are you coming home tonight? Uh, I'm not sure. We're doing a thing on the California least turn. What's that? Oh, it's a bird that migrates here. Oh. During the summer. Okay. Okay. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Music. I thought you were her husband. I am. But she said you were her husband. Uh, no, no, no. She said I was her husband's brother. No, she didn't. Um, no, you didn't know that about her. Uh, Maud always leaves the last word off her sentences. She, it's very confusing if you don't know. Her whole family does that. I, you remember when she came in and said, how do you? And good. No. Hi. Just <laughs> hey. perfect. Yeah, Great. everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, Nurse Verbeck, this is my husband. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Can't be too careful. <laughs> you okay, then? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. He I... came back. When did so you... did you. Yeah, well, I... Oh, I'll my... get it for you. I thought you... I'll take it to the elevator, okay? How come you... Well, I never would have believed it. What? He's right. She never finishes a sentence. Who doesn't? Your sister-in-law. Oh. What? Oh! Uh, I forgot my uh, thing. I'll see you back home. See you back home. I've never... Thought okay. Of... Rob, may, uh, I, I'd like to talk to you for a minute, please. Yeah, me too. Come on. Who is that woman? Uh, um, come on. You see, Nurse Verbeck says that she's my sister-in-law. Yeah, okay. Uh, she's a sister-in-law. Sister uh, that's a closet, sister. Mr. Sellers. Yeah, we know. I know that. We know that. Uh, Who is that woman? Nurse Verbeck does drugs. What? Heavy drugs. She keeps telling me that that woman who I have never seen before is my wife. I say, no, 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 she's not my wife. You are my wife. So then she says, well, if she isn't your wife, she must be your sister-in-law. And then she started talking about flying pandas. and I said, great, she's going to go nuts right here. So I said, yeah, okay, yeah, she's my sister-in-law. I don't believe that. No, What's Dr. Not... Feibel doing with a druggie? Maybe they're having an affair. Yeah. Dr. Feibel, the nurse, yeah, Burbank? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's impossible. No, no, I'm a broadcast journalist. <laughs> no, nothing surprises me. Oh. Hi. Hello. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Listen, I don't care where they wear guns, if they wear guns, or why they wear guns. I don't care either. Let's just shoot this, all right? God, I wonder if nude female models look as dumb to women as nude male models do to men. Oh, what the hell? We'll do it all in tight headshots. Well, what's the point of that? You can't see the bodies. You can't see the guns. I don't want to see the bodies. I don't want to see the guns. I don't want to see this segment. Now we do it all in close-up or we don't do it at all. Now let's go. Roll. Rolling? I'm supposed to say that. Then for Christ's sake, say it! Roll it! We're already rolling. I'm standing here with Six members of the famous Mishima cult who all live together, who all wear handguns upon their persons, and who are also all nude models. Pull back, Sal. Stay where you are, Sal. This is Leon Cleon. Leon, why on earth do you carry a handgun? I believe that it's every human being's right in this country to protect himself. And why are you a nude model? I believe it's every human being's right in this country to express himself as any way he sees fit, as long as it don't hurt nobody. <laughs> I'm not doing this! It's so too bad. stupid! Hey, wait, don't bro! Not talking plain imbecile, I'm talking major moron! Ow! This could get you fired, pal. I don't care, Leo. I mean, of all that crap, well, you better not pull any stunts like that at CBS. CBS? What do you mean, CBS? Today, when they heard you refused to tape the segment, they finally got interested. Networks loved the appearance of integrity. They would now like to talk to you. What? CBS? Oh, my God, Leo. Oh, this is wonderful. CBS, my God. Do you know what this means? It may actually mean that one third of my life will work out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, how are the other two thirds going? Oh, uh, f fine. Uh, Maud's got about three weeks. She's auditioning for the Philharmonic today, in fact. Mickey's the one I'm worried about. She's about two days overdue. Thank you. Next, please. Something wrong? My water just broke. It's for you. Thanks. Yeah? What? Uh, which Mrs. Salinger? No, no, I mean, I mean, there's only one Mrs. Salinger, but you see, my, my um, mother's having a baby, too. Uh, is she a lawyer or a cellist? God, it's Maud. <laughs> Down a hospital. Uh, she, she's having a baby. How much do you want to uh, buy? Forty bucks. No, fifty bucks. Oh, fifty. Great. Thank 50 you. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Jeez. And you ride it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey! 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 Dr. Blake. 
to hear from you. No, he's not here right now, but if it's important, I think I know where to find him. Oh, Maud, you okay? Mm. Yes, I'm fine, except for some incredibly painful spasms that make me realize there is a God and he's a sexist pig. Oh, oh God, here comes another one. Oh, God, that's the doctor. Are you Mr. Sellinger? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I found you. Your wife is having a baby. Yeah, I, I know. She's in her room. Oh, it must be another Mr. Salinger. Uh, this one lives in Brentwood? Oh, my God. Are you all right? Yeah. Let me help you. I'm fine. No, okay. thank you. Well, uh, and yeah. Mr. Brody phoned. Mm -hmm. She's in admitting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nurse Addy, congratulations. I'll need a phone. A phone in a labor room? Yes, and I don't suppose you can get a stenographer here, could you? A stenographer into labor room? Oh, oh, Ron. Oh, oh. Ron. oh. oh what are you doing here? Oh, oh, oh. I'm sending her up oh. right now. Oh. I'm worried about Rob. Rob, my husband, will you make sure he knows where I am? Oh. You sure got here in a hurry. Where were you? Well, talk about luck. I was researching the paramedics. They brought me here in an ambulance. Ow! Oh, On the left. God! Oh. oh, where's that doctor? Oh, 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 I thought one of the benefits of a cesarean was not having any pain. Oh, God. I'll, I'll get the gun. Um, the doctor. Oh, thanks. Where, where, where's he? Anesthetist. He's with your wife. Oh. But I don't need an anesthetic. Are you Mrs. Salinger? Yes, but I don't... Oh. oh where have you been? Oh, sorry. Are you the anesthetist? Yes, yes, but I told him I don't need an anesthetic. Yeah, I know. It's not for you. It's for uh, a woman in 421. The only woman I have done for an anesthetic is a... Uh, Mrs. Salinger. Right. That's you. Yes, but I'm not having a cesarean. You are, according to these. Um... Oh, no, this is, ah, uh, this is Dr. Feibel's, uh, Mrs. Salinger. This, this is Dr. Glazitsky's, Mrs. Salinger. There's another Mrs. Salinger in the hospital? She's having a baby? <laughs> would you, would you please rush down and see her? She seemed pretty anxious. Why don't you see if she can be in the next room? No, no, you don't want her next to you. I mean, uh, what if they get you confused? You have the cesarean, she has a natural child, that happens all the time. Not. In this hospital, it doesn't. Well, maybe she's related to you. No, no, she she uh, doesn't speak English. Oh. She's um, Dutch. Uh, you'd have nothing to talk about. Doctor, would you please go and have a look at her? She's she's having a C-section, high-risk delivery, irritable uterus. Her back is killing her, her cervix okay, is flat, and sometimes her toes tingle. I thought you said she didn't speak English. I, 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 I know, I know. God. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> Lies, just what I want to hear. Oh, great, great, great. So... Uh, how are we doing? I'm glad you're here. You know, there was a guy here trying to give me an anesthetic. Yeah. Who was? Just some doctor. I, he had an accent. I don't know his name. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. I'll see, I'll see, you, I'll see you in a minute, okay? I'll be right back. Dr. Winters. Dr. Winters to admitting. Oh, Rob, oh. where have you been? Oh, it's an awful story. The respondent's uh, husband left at the last moment, and uh, what? he went overseas to one of those uh, overseas country, you know, oh. she was all alone, so I was I oh. sort of being friendly and never got... That's, that's the woman I was just telling you about. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, yeah. Rob, you're so nice to be so good to her. Here, why not give her something to read, huh? OK, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Well, well she's, she's going through labor. Well, I am too. I know, but you're going to get an anesthetic any moment oh, now. Right, Doctor? I mean, when you're going to so give my wife an anesthetic, she's in terrible pain. I know what I'm doing, Mr. Salinger. OK, I'll be right back. Oh, Rob. I'll be right back. Maintenance to two west. Maintenance to 
to West. This will make you feel much better. Oh, oh, God, I hate sucks. Oh, oh. Rob, I need you when the contractions are going on, not when they're over. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Right. Do what you can to stay with your wife, Mr. Salinger. That's what I'm trying to do, Dr. Klesinski. Klesinski. Oh, Rob! Oh! Who's that? Well, talk about a coincidence. That's the other Mrs. Salinger. They, they, they put her in the next room. I mean, you know, I'd like to meet the others, Mrs. Salinger. No! No! No, I mean, I, I'm sure she'd like to meet you, but you you, you, you shouldn't get out of bed. <laughs> no, I'm fine. No, 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 you can't take a chance. Let me ask Dr. Don't get up to ask. Oh, Nurse Farrell? Well, I guess you can. Oh, Doctor! Doctor, my wife's trying to get out of bed. No reason she shouldn't, unless she has a fetal heart monitor attached. Well, she doesn't? No. Doesn't she? Well, some doctors think so as an extra safety precaution, but in my opinion, it isn't necessary. Oh, well, that's, that's great. Very few doctors are like that. Most of them are scarcity of malpractice suits these days. <clears throat> Dr. Fievel is on his way. Okay. Mickey, Mickey, you oh, right? Rob. Oh, oh, hi. Where have you been? I'm sorry, but the, the, that woman needed a heetle fart oh, monitor. What? A heetle fart <laughs> monitor. <laughs> what woman? The... Dr. Condolian says that there's another Mrs. Salinger in the next row, isn't it? You don't say. Yes, Vito, hard morning. Keep right. Uh, uh, lay down, Mrs. Salinger. The doctor wants a monitor. I think I'll go see this woman. No, no, you can't. I think you shouldn't get up. No, oh, I feel wonderful. No, no, you can't. I mean, she wouldn't like that at all. She has a phobia oh, about mothers. She does? No. I want to be nice to no. her. Here, yes. I'll wheel you in. No, I'll tell her you're coming. Okay. <laughs> Oh. oh, there's this woman down the hall. She's completely delirious. And she just had a shock. And she just had a... I don't this immoral trickery. I am going in to tell your wives the truth Shh, right now. Don't, no, don't. Sorry, please, please, don't. You can't. You can't. No, Mickey's about an hour away from surgery and more, more this news will have no effect on her surgery at this late date. No, please. Dr. Feibel and I have discussed Shh. this impropriety several times. But I could tell them both tomorrow. From any other man, I might believe Shh. it. But from a snake and a slime oh. like you, there is no chance. Nurse Fermi, please. Nurse Fermi, please, Sir? I do. you get this? Oh, that woman wanted you to see herself. God, it's great. I wish I'd seen it three months ago. Oh, I'll tell you, you like it. I have some bad news, Mrs. Salinger. Dr. Feibel and I... Yes. It, how shall I put this? <laughs> Dr. Feibel and I... It's okay, I know. You do? Yes. And you don't mind? <laughs> Why should I mind? <laughs> Frankly, I'm shocked. What am I supposed to do? Cancel surgery because my... <laughs> because my doctor's <laughs> having an affair with his nurse. <laughs> what? You're having an affair with Dr. Feibel. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? I'm not that kind of woman. And neither is Dr. Feibel. <laughs> Did you know that Nurse Perfect assists a little bit menopausal? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Be right back. Rob. Yeah. That sweater. Sweater? You're wearing that sweater. That's 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 that green sweater. But don't tell me what you're talking about. Yo, don't you tell me what I'm talking about. That you you you're wearing that green sweater. You No. I was wearing cut. No, no. You you no. Well, you, you, well, that, you know, you were wearing a coat, but that, that was before. I don't, what? No, darling. Oh, I, really I, try, wasn't it? Try and relax. No, no, I was, I just It's okay? Oh, gee. Oh, you know, I think that shot's making me, like, hallucinate a little bit. Yeah, well, Oh, it's... have you seen the kitty? Kitty? What? Yeah, there's a kitty, kitty, what kitty, kitty. kitty. <laughs> I'm going to give you a local now, Mrs. Oh, Hallinger. Don't let him give me a local. Yeah. <laughs> If you're going to be in there, Mr. Salinger, you'd better go now. Oh, okay. Don't let him get me alone. Oh, why not? <laughs> Robbie! Oh, uh, uh -huh. excuse me. I'll be right back. Robbie? Keep Where's my it. goddamn doctor? He's coming. He's coming. Where's Rob? I'm right here, Morty. Right here, Morty. Oh, oh. oh. oh hi, darling. Hi. Papa, Papa, Okay, okay let's go. Okay, Put a gown on, Mr. Salinger. Well, now, right now? Well, you want to be yeah. with her, don't you? Yeah. Nurse Adams. Nurse Adams. Into the scrub room, doctor. Well, I've got to change before I scrub. Get inside for the mercy. Get, 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 get. Dr. Kim, call the page operator. They know. They know what? Who? The Salingers. They know I worship your body like a French cathedral. Well, I don't care who knows, Mary. You're my woman, and I'm your man. <laughs> Nevertheless. If they can keep a secret, <laughs> so can I! <laughs> Mickey? No. Oh, come on, Mickey. Yeah. What a cute little hat! Mickey. Yeah. Mickey, listen to me. I can't... Yeah, Mr. So I cannot go into surgery with you. Oh, Rob, Rob, I don't can't. worry, don't worry. You won't faint. Ow! Oh, I'm not being squeamish. Oh. I've got to be with the other Mrs. Salinger. Oh, how could you? Oh, you got an anesthetic. She's only got me. take him to the cleaners for the rest of his life. She's a beautiful baby. Daddy, there's something I've got to tell you.
Olha! Well, all things considered, you're lucky he didn't kill you. All things considered, I wish he had. Have your wives informed the police? Not yet. They want to talk to me first. Oh, about what? I hate to think. Want me to drive you over? Ah! No. Pick you up? I don't expect there'll be enough left worth picking up. I was very fond of you, Rob. Come in. You're both looking well. Uh, Rob, we'll try to make this as quick as possible. This isn't easy on either one of us, you know. It certainly isn't. We have done a lot of talking. We've really been getting to know each other. And we have come to some decisions, Rob. And if you don't abide by them, we'll call the district attorney. And have you arrested. I, s I swear, I never intended. It doesn't make any difference what you intended, Rob. It's the fact that you have been deceitful. And hurtful. And criminal. And we don't ever want to see you again. We would like a divorce as quickly as possible. And uh, you never to see the children again. Never. Never. Empezamos con muchísimos problemas en las carreteras esta mañana. Ahorita, caminando al norte en San Diego, vas a encontrar demasiado tráfico. Ahorita, caminando al sur en el San Diego, al cruzar Sepúlveda, tenemos un accidente en el lado del sur. En el San Bernardino, al oeste, cerca de Soto, un vehículo puntando contra la circulación. Tiene que tener mucho cuidado. Y ahora, les invitamos a encontrar escape con nuestro músico que les ofrecemos. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. oh, God. Good morning. Morning. God, Jesus. What did I do to your place? Smashed your furniture. <laughs> Tore up your clothes. I had a fight with the gardener. Threw up on my rug. Oh. Hit, hit your refrigerator with a baseball bat. Crayons all over the wall. That's what friends are for. Abuse. Now, at the risk of sounding like an insensitive nag, don't you think it's about time you started pulling yourself together? <laughs> I don't think I can. He's in terrible shape. Don't you think he deserves to be? Mickey, he loves you. Yeah, what about Maud? He loves her, too. He is a lying and he's a cheating bigamist. Look, he wanted to tell you, but he was afraid you'd lose the baby. And Maud? 
Thought it would break her heart. <laughs> I'm afraid there are quite a few broken hearts, Leo. Look, I'm not saying he didn't make some major mistakes. When it comes to value judgments, Rob is right up there with Custer and Nixon. What do you want me to do, Leo? Let him see the kids. He already does. He does? <laughs> Whenever I take the baby out for a walk, he follows me. I took her to the park the other day, and he kept hiding from tree to tree. I think he nearly killed himself. I'm sorry he's having such a bad time, but he brought it on himself. Does he follow you, too? Yes. Friday, Daddy drove us to the pediatrician, and Rob followed us right into the building. I think I'm going to have a talk with him. Don't hurt him, Daddy. I'm a desperate man, Leo. We're talking potential psychopath. You've got to come back to work, Rob. Just to keep busy, achieve, elevate your self-esteem. How can I elevate something I don't have? Have you considered therapy? I don't need a shrink, Leo. I need my children. I've got two beautiful babies. At least I think they're beautiful. I can't get close enough to tell. I should be able to get close enough to tell, Leo. I should be able to pick them up and hug them and change their diapers, for Christ's sake. God, I cried more this past week than I did during my entire childhood. You should take my word for it. I had a pretty shitty childhood. Rob, Rob, you're welcome to stay. Thanks, I prefer to suffer someplace which is less cluttered. Hello? Mickey, he's really cracking up. Where is he? When he left me, he said something about buying some rope. Thank you. She does. Yeah. 
me. She won't tell her. I promise. I've been spending a lot of time with Mickey. She's a very special lady. Yeah, I know. You have great taste in women. Uh-huh. I know she and I have an agreement, but I just had to see you. I promise you won't tell her. You are a lunatic. You're right. This will never work. I know. You have to tell them. I will. Leo, I swear to you, I will tell them. Just have to pick the right moment. Got some in here. What do you take from these? All rise. The Superior Court of California in and for the County of Los Angeles is now in session. The Honorable Micheline Salinger, Judge, presiding. Touch me, you are. 
like a sudden breeze that blew in my life. A new face, a new smile, a new song. And now I know I wanted you in my life all along. This is true.